And alas, this week's episode was the end of our favorite magical girl, Ribrian. Yeah, well, I know like more than half of the fandom was rejoicing because she's gone. No one really liked her, but I kind of did. Though I was disappointed at her transformation this episode, I expected something a bit more badass. I didn't expect her to just get bigger because I knew she was going to transform again because I know some things from another show called The Pretty Cure. But yeah, Toei let me down this episode. Well, let's get right into the review. The episode is was primarily about Android 18, but it had some Android 17 in it. 18 and 17 versus you, the Universe 2 Warriors. So the Universe 2 Warriors try to pick off Go, Goku 5 on 1 while he's down, while he's all exhausted. He has no stamina left whatsoever from using Ultra Instinct. And 18 and 17 cut them off. So 18 and 17 fight Ribriand and Rosie. Ribriand tells the other three not to, you know, leave Goku for her. But they start to question that and I guess they just stand there for the entire episode. I don't know what they did, Goku, for the time that 18, 17, Rosie and Ribriand were fighting. Because at the end of the episode, they were still there where they, they were still there where they were where we left them off and it, it was kind of weird because I don't know everything happened in two minutes because it was 17 minutes before at the end of the last episode and at the end of this episode now it's 15 minutes until the tournament of power ends within those two minutes we got some really badass tag team tag teaming from Android 18 and 17 they were up to their old tricks again you know they were the brother and sister thing the tag teaming there was a scene where Rosie, no, we were Ribrianne fired this giant heart blast at Android 18 and she was in the air, but she dodged it by using a key blast, like a blast to push herself away. And that bla- that heart blast was approaching 17, but all he had to do was get out of the way and that would hit Rosie. So that was really good teamwork on their part. And Rosie and Ribrian, they were completely out of sync because they actually hit each other twice. There were two instances where they actually hit each other. So their teamwork was a little weak. And then that was the end of Rosie. And later on, Ribrian will soon suffer the same fate as she got the power up from the spectators. She got a power up from the spectators again, as I mentioned earlier. She just got bigger and... 18 and 17 technically just one shot her. 18 one shot her, honestly. She was just like Godzilla on the stage. And 18 and 17 had to run up her arm, blocking her blast with this shield. And 18 just put a hole through her head. And that was the end of Ribrian. So there was nothing really special about this episode except Ribrian was knocked off. But it was actually an okay episode. It was decent. The animation was fine it wasn't phenomenal but there was some really fluid animation at the end where 18 was facing down the giant ribrian and knocked her off the stage i'm actually going to comment just a little bit on vegeta's attempt at using ultra instinct he tries to use ultra instinct in this episode because if he if kakarot can do it he can do it too that's his rationale and he just gets beaten to a pulp he gets tired of it and he just starts attacking I think this scene gives all the theories that have been going around lately a little bit of credit because it reinforces the idea that Vegeta loves to attack. He never really defends or dodges much. He just attacks. He just attacks. If Vegeta gets Ultra Instinct, he probably will get the attacking part to Goku's defensive part. So I think that's interesting that they actually put that scene in this episode. So those theories might actually become a thing. They might, they might turn out to be truth. And not just theories. So I'll just keep a watch out for that. I'll j- I just wanted to point that out. So it was a decent episode. And yeah, I I enjoyed it. It was fine. I'm looking forward to next episode though. Next episode is a Gohan and Piccolo episode. They're fighting the last fighters from Universe 6. And the episode title seems a little bleak for Universe 6. I'm assuming they're the next universe to get wiped out. I wouldn't be surprised. Because they only have two warriors left who claim that they can win. But we all know that there is no way they are winning this at this point in time. So goodbye, Universe 6. 
you had a good race. You had a you had a good run. We'll miss you. We won't miss Champa in the stands though. He's he's pretty annoying. To really conclude Ribrian's part in all of this, she was introduced as this really hype character, but she turned out to be a big letdown in a sense that she had a very inconsistent fighting power. By that I mean, at times she was up against Super Saiyan Blue Goku, but at times it's like she can't handle Android 18, which doesn't make any sense. So I don't know where she is on the scale. I'm guessing, yeah, there's actually no scale anymore because Dragon Ball Super's power scaling sucks, but you get what I mean. It's like they've, the writers forget sometimes about how strong these characters are supposed to be in relation to each other. And it gets a little irritating irritating sometimes. So, yeah, Ribrian was a very controversial character in the Tournament of Power. A lot of people hated her. I thought she was decent. So, anyways, kudos to you. And I actually hope we get to visit Universe 2 or something at some point. I don't even think that anyone actually thinks that Goku and the others should visit Universe 2 because of Ribrian and their hate for her. But... We'll see what they do after the Tournament of Power, but for now, let's focus on this. Anyways, that's the end of my review. If you liked the video, subscribe, leave a comment on your thoughts on the episode, and I'll see you next week.